How to feel chic in beachwear this summer. Over 30 swimwear 2023. Hello ladies, I hope you're all well and had a great week. So today, as the title would suggest, we're talking swimwear for summer 2023 and how to feel your absolute best when wearing them this season. I've got a few styling tips and tricks that I reach for and I'll be sharing both my bikini and swimsuit collection that I already have in my own wardrobe. So let's dive straight in. Insecurities. I think it's really important that we start this video by talking about our insecurities. Let's get them together and let's throw them straight out the window. I don't think I've ever met a woman who doesn't have the odd moan about her own body. We are all the same and we can pick ourselves to pieces sometimes. But no doubt you are off on your holes and that is not cheap these days. So don't waste your pennies consuming yourself with panic about what you're going to look like in your cosy. Perfection, in my humble opinion, is boring. It's the quirks in life that keep things interesting. How to feel chic in beach or swimwear any summer, to be honest with you, really starts from within. So get your shoulders back and your head held high and really try and embrace those imperfections invest. Now saying all of that, obviously I realise when you strip down to what is essentially a very small amount of clothes, it can feel a little bit daunting, which is probably why I tend to save a larger portion of my budget each summer for the perfect piece of swimwear. Which brings me to this beautiful number. There are certain things in my wardrobe that I would absolutely say, oh save your pennies on that, you can really pick some beautiful pieces up from the high street really affordably. But when it comes to swimwear, I personally don't mind spending a larger portion of that budget to find the perfect one because I know it's going to make me feel good which is exactly what happened with this particular one piece. Now if you've been following me for quite a while or at least since last summer you might have seen when I tried these on actually. I bought both a bikini and a one piece from a brand called Alexandra Miro. It is a bit more pricey but in my humble opinion it was absolutely worth the spend. So I tried on the polka dot bikini which gave me a huge amount of cleavage. I didn't even know I had. And the other option was this one piece. In the end, I decided to go with this one. One, because all of you helped me make the decision. But two, I did feel really nice in this one and I thought it was probably the most versatile in terms of being able to reuse it in different ways. So that was my invest option. A little bit spendy, but I have worn it and loved it since I've got it. Now, although I am more than happy to go without a new handbag, for example, in search of that perfect bikini or swimsuit, that's not to say little gems of swimwear can't be found across the cheaper end of the high street too. So whenever I need a new piece of swimwear, I always shop around. I will literally look at every single store, order quite a lot online, try everything on, and go with which one I feel really flatters my shape the best. A lot of the time that ends up being the most expensive, but sometimes, you find a little gem that was the most affordable of the bunch, which as it happens was this gorgeous brown bikini. Now I showed you this one recently, but in case you missed it, this one was actually recommended to me from a subscriber, very gratefully received actually. I was looking for a brown bikini, something similar to one I'd bought previously from a brand called Melissa Odebash. That one always used to make me feel very chic around the pool and I love the color. I love the shape of the bra section on this one. I find that really flattering. The knicker portion is a little bit skimpy on my bottom which you'll have to go to their website and have a look at that because I am not turning around <laughs> but because it was in the perfect color I was looking for and I love the shape of the rest of it I thought you know what I'll just go with that and although it was a slightly different style for me with those briefs I actually by the time I got onto the beach I felt really nice I felt comfortable and I think it flatters my shape Random tips when wearing your swimwear. Now, although we are embracing our imperfections and throwing our insecurities out the window, that's not to say that we can't follow a few little styling tips to help us look the best, particularly if we're trying to get those perfect holiday snaps. A really good tip for capturing that perfect picture when you're in your bikini or your swimsuit is to make sure you stand in the shade. I made this mistake recently on our holiday when we went to Ibiza, actually, and I was trying to get David to take a really nice picture of me in the brown bikini. I was stood in the sea, beautiful view behind me, but I had bright overhead sunshine. And honestly, it must have shown up 
every single amount of cellulite I could possibly have in my body was showing in that one picture. Now I'm not sure if I can show you said awful picture because I was swiftly deleting them all off my phone. But needless to say, it wasn't very flattering at all. And to be honest with you, it's not a true indication of how you look in that bikini. It's just a really unflattering light. So if you are trying to get that perfect holiday snap, I would say just stand in a little shaded area. It's a lot more flattering on our skin. And another little random tip for you, which I learned way back when, is to try and make, if you can be bothered to do this, I suppose, is to remember that triangle shapes are the most flattering for your body. For example, if you do a triangle shape here with your arm, it makes your arm look longer and leaner, which is something I quite like. If you leave your arm down like this, it pushes against your body and it can make it bulge. If you're taking a selfie picture when there's a group of you, never stand too close to the person who's holding the camera because you are then going to look the biggest in the shot. And in the lineup of a group of friends, be careful again that you don't shove that arm against your body because it can give the illusion that your arm is twice as big than it actually is. And one more photo tip actually while I'm thinking about it because I've made this mistake a few times myself is you naturally someone turns the camera on and you think okay hold my tummy in but if you're in a bikini and you suck your tummy in that sucking in motion can strangely actually show up more cellulite on my tummy than if I just relaxed it and breathed normally I'm not sure what it is about that sucking in action that can show it up a little bit more but it seems to so I tend to try and avoid that now reuse your swimwear now if you do decide to invest in a piece of swimwear for this summer I I would just advise trying to have in mind, okay, that's a lovely swimsuit for the beach, but could I wear it in any other way as well? For example, could you pair it with a pair of nice linen trousers and wear it as a bodysuit? Would it look right if you put a kimono over the top and a skirt? I tend to wear my one pieces as a bodysuit quite a lot, and certainly with the items that I've maybe spent a little bit more money on, and it just gives you so much more wear out of that investment piece. So this is a swimsuit I bought from a brand called Jets by Jessica Allen. Bit of a mouthful but it's a really nice brand. They have a really gorgeous collection of swimsuits. Some of them are quite plain and others like this one are quite intricate actually. I would probably describe this one as more of an investment piece but not quite as pricey as the green one that I've got. And again though I think I got what I paid for because of all these little details. It is a couple of years old now and it's lost its elasticity a little bit but I still take it on holiday with me because I love the shape, I love all those little details and I know it's a good use of space in my suitcase because I tend to wear it as a bodysuit as well as round the pool. Now, as you know, I'm not usually one for too much print and I do have a bit of an affinity for lots of neutral tones. But when it comes to swimwear, I throw all my typical style out the window and embrace both color and print. Essentially, really, I'm all about which swimsuit or bikini makes me feel the best. And if that happens to be a neon pink swimsuit, then so be it, that's what I'm gonna go for. And although this one obviously isn't neon pink, it is quite a bright and colorful print. This one, again, was one I got a couple of years ago. It's it's actually a halter neck as you will see in this video but I like the option that you can make that into a strapless swimsuit as well so I do tend to take this one on holiday with me and then I'll interchange between some of my other bikinis and swimsuits just so the strap lines don't become too prominent. Now Cezanne actually collaborate with a lingerie brand to create their swimwear so you know you're going to get that perfect fit and really nice quality too. Plus of course on top of that they do tend to keep their prices high end of the high street so they don't go too silly. So I've added a bit of a wish list to the description box below of all my favorite pieces that are currently in stock. Now, although I don't particularly like the style on me, high-waisted swimwear can actually have a really flattering effect on your legs. Obviously, if something is going to cut up here, it's going to then make your legs look a lot longer than they might actually be. I must admit, I feel a little bit uncomfortable in pieces like this. I feel like it just goes too high, it's too exposing, it's not really my style. However, I know lots of women do like that high cut and it makes them feel really nice. And as I have said throughout this video, it's all about what you feel amazing in. What do you feel really flatters your shape? That's the swimsuit that you should go for. So you could go for that high cut if you want to make your legs look twice as long, or you could go for the high-waisted brief look. Now, I do really like that style, but interestingly, David can't stand it. I think it's one of those things that women feel really nice in it, but men kind of turn their nose up at those big high-waisted pants. I'm not really sure why. They could be seen as a little bit Bridget Jones-esque, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But on the flip side of that, I've seen some really gorgeous options in that particular style. So again, I think that's personal preference on the shape of the briefs. 
some of my favorite cover-ups now that I tend to wear every single summer, starting with my fisherman's trousers. Now, it doesn't have to be this exact style of fisherman trousers. In actual fact, I've had a look at their website and the new collection that's launched, and they've got some really similar alternatives. So I shall add a few favorites in the description box below. But this particular shape where the crotch is quite low, you could wear them low on your hips, or you could wear them high-waisted and it's just a tie belt. I find those incredibly handy to take on my holes. These ones are made from cotton, so if they do get a little bit wet and then dry in the sun, they don't leave any marks. And they're just really easy to throw on when you're around the pool and maybe you just want to go get a drink or a bite to eat. My next favorite cover-up would have to be a kimono. I obsessively love kimonos. In fact, I'm always keeping an eye out if there's any new beautiful versions across the high street or perhaps with some of the independents. A little bit like those trousers I showed you before, I do find them very handy to, maybe if you've had a little bit too much sun on your shoulders, just want to have a layer over you, but not a layer that's going to make you feel any warmer than you already are. Kimonos are particularly handy for that. Plus, again, thinking about reusing the items that you take away with you, not not only will I wear that kimono around the pool, but I will also wear it with a camisole and maybe a nice pair of trousers for the evening time too. They're one of those items that you can very easily translate from day to night. Next up would be a boyfriend shirt, a look that I particularly like wearing as a cover-up over my bikini or my swimsuit. I think this look works best when it's very oversized. The more oversized, the better, really. I personally wouldn't wear a shirt over my swimwear if it didn't come quite low over my bum. So something like this shirt I'm wearing here for me would be perfect to take on my holes. And another piece which always comes away with me would be my denim shorts. Now this pair are quite relaxed, they're very laid back. As you can see, they're frayed and quite a light wash denim. These for me just have that beachy, slightly bohemian looking vibe about them with a bit of a chic but laid back California kind of vibe. A bit of a mixture really. These ones are quite old actually, but I've noticed that they are back in stock again. So I think they're one of their best seller pieces. So again, I shall add them into the description box below. I prefer the frayed edge when it comes to denim shorts rather than quite a neat edge. I think that looks a little bit more beachy, but if you prefer something a little bit smarter, if that works better in your wardrobe, I shall add some options for that kind of style too. Longevity. Now, when you spend a fair amount of money investing in the perfect swimsuit, or even when you've bought something that you absolutely love from the cheaper end of the high street, swimwear will, by the very nature of going in the sea and going in chlorine pools, it's going to lose its elasticity eventually. It always does. It's really annoying, especially when it's a favorite piece. However, I have a handy little tip for you, which I seem to do a lot, and that is to make knots in the fabric. So this swimsuit, for example, had lost its elastic within the straps going over my arms. So I made a little knot in both the straps at the back here. So quite high up, I don't think you really see it because of my hair, but even if you could see those two little knots there, it doesn't really bother me. But just taking out that excess fabric there made the length of it fit again as it did in the beginning. And it just means that you might get one or possibly two more summers out of that piece of swimwear. And I would do this with the brief portion as well. You could tie a little knot at the side and almost make it look like it's a feature of the swimsuit. Or if there's not quite enough fabric to be able to literally knot it with that fabric itself. Get a couple of bobbles, tie those in a knot at the, say, the sides of the bikini, turn that fabric back on itself and tuck it into the elastic bands, and it will just look like a cute little detail, like those knots are intentional at the sides of your bikini. Now, as you'll have seen throughout this video, none of these bikinis or swimsuits, for that matter, are particularly geared for over 30s. In truth, I just added that into the title because I didn't want some young whippersnapper, 19-year-old young lady to see swimsuits and bikinis and be sorely disappointed when she saw me. Finding the perfect one piece or bikini is universal. We're all very much in the same boat. We all want to find something that flatters our shapes. So hopefully this video has given you lots of outfit ideas plus a few random style tips along the way for how you can feel chic in your swimwear this summer 2023. Do let me know your favorite piece of swimwear that I have in my wardrobe in the comment section below. It's always really lovely hearing from you all. And hopefully you will join me back here next Sunday for lots more styling ideas and outfit inspiration. See you then everyone, take care.